Hey friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. My name is Becky and today we are gonna make the ultimate hot sauce. One super exciting thing about this is I am not new to making hot sauce, but I am new to making hot sauce with 100% of my own peppers. In here I have cayenne peppers, I have red serrano peppers, I have a couple red shishito peppers, and then I have just a quarter of a bell pepper. This recipe is gonna be kind of a little bit like a Tabasco sauce because it's gonna be a kind of a vinegary hot sauce and we're gonna can it up today. We have the equivalent of 12 ounces of peppers here. I did de-stem them. When you de-stem your peppers, anytime you're cutting hot peppers, please wear gloves. Really important because that spiciness can get on your hands and then if you touch your face or anywhere on your body, you can it can burn pretty bad. So, so get yourself 12 ounces of hot peppers. The majority of these peppers are cayenne peppers, probably 90% of them. So if you're interested in the actual written recipe, it will be written down in the description box below at scratchpantry.com. That's my blog where I keep all my recipes along with all the canning equipment and my favorite canning resources. If you're new to canning, you can go ahead and go down there and see what you need so that you can start your canning journey if you're new to it. If you can hear boiling in the background, I'm making cowboy candy right now and it's in the canner. So I just put my 12 ounces of peppers in a heavy duty saucepan. This is a thick bottom saucepan. We're gonna put two cups of white distilled vinegar in the pan. We're gonna add six to 12 homegrown garlic cloves in there, depending on how garlicky you like things. And one small onion, roughly chopped. This doesn't have to be perfectly chopped or anything because we are gonna blend this when we're done cooking it. We're gonna get the lid on this. We're gonna put this on the stove at medium to medium low, depending, we wanna keep an eye on it. And we're gonna boil this for 20 minutes. We're gonna keep an eye on it. What we want is those onions and peppers to really soften up. This is some cowboy candy here. I gotta get this out of the canner, take care of this. But when I'm done with this, we'll come back to this and we have a few more ingredients to add to this. Our peppers have been simmering for a little over 20 minutes and they're nice and soft. So we're gonna get them in the blender now. We have a few more ingredients to put in the hot sauce. I have a quarter cup of sugar, two teaspoons of pink Himalayan salt, and the juice of half a lemon. Along with one teaspoon of oil. I bought this Vitamix on the recommendation of you guys. In one of my videos, I asked if I should get a Vitamix or a Ninja, and the majority of you guys said they both are good, but more people said the Vitamix, so I just decided to bite the bullet and get it. I have used it every single day since I've had it. I don't regret it for one minute. I love this. This is probably one of my new favorite kitchen appliances, so if you have been considering getting a Vitamix, I would highly recommend it. I'm gonna link it down in the description box. We are gonna blend this for probably 10 minutes. We wanna get this as smooth as possible. Look how smooth that sauce is. We are gonna take our hot sauce and strain it through a fine mesh strainer. So this is the fibery stuff that's left behind. You wanna to try to get as much of the sauce out as possible. I am not gonna discard this. I'm gonna actually dehydrate this and I'm gonna turn it into a spicy powder. I'm gonna take our strained sauce and pour it back into the Vitamix because it'll be a lot easier to pour into our canning jars if it's in a container with a spout. This color is stunning. I saved my hot sauce glass bottles. This is an old Tabasco bottle. It did take just a little bit of work to get that filled. We're gonna stick the little stopper on the top. Homemade hot sauce. And then here we have a hot sauce that's ready for the fridge and the rest of it we're gonna get canned up. I have half pints and four ounce jars. I don't know how many of these we're gonna fill, but I think I can do this without a funnel. We're gonna leave a quarter inch headspace at the top. We already have the canner warm because I was canning cowboy candy earlier today. So we already have that all set up and ready to go. Looks like we got four half pints, a uh, four ounce jar, and then just a little bit extra. I'm not gonna can that, we're gonna put that in the fridge. Put a new canning lid on. Now that our jars are in the water, we're gonna put the lid on, we're gonna turn it on medium high. Once this comes to a rolling boil, 
We're gonna let it boil for 20 minutes. We turn the canner off and it has been sitting for five minutes. And our hot sauce is just absolutely stunning. It's this beautiful orange color. I would have thought it would have turned out a little bit redder because all those peppers were so red. So what we're gonna do is take all these jars out of the canner and put them on this placemat. I'm super thrilled to have hot sauce that's ready to go in the pantry along with hot sauce that is gonna go right in the fridge that's ready to eat. I love hot sauce, I eat a lot of hot sauce, and I'm happy with the progress we made today. We got a lot done, we got cowboy candy done. I actually have another pot on the stove with some more hot sauce, that's gonna be a green hot sauce, I'm kind of recipe testing that. It's got some tomatillos in it from the garden, and I'm really thrilled with all the progress we're making of getting stuff out of the garden and into the pantry. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, I've got tons of videos on canning, on bulk cooking, cleaning, well, I guess I don't have very many on cleaning, but I do a day in the life and things like that. So if you wanna watch some of my other videos, they'll pop up right here and you can go watch those. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in my kitchen. I thoroughly enjoy it. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.